Hello, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Nash for Diecast video here today. This is Jack Spector once again, and this is the 20th review of year number two on this channel. Uh, I got seven 164 scale die casts ranging from the years of 1998 to 2002, and I got a 2005 Dale R. Jr. Born on Date car for my brother. So let's get this thing reviewed. So here is the first die cast up, and this is actually a 124 scale die cast. This is Dale Hart Jr. 2005 Budweiser Born on Date die cast. Uh, and this is a really cool card. This is a little bit opposite than the 2004 die cast um, that Dale Jr. ran the Daytona 500 2004. But this is the 2005 version, which um, there's a little bit more of uh, red on this card. It's actually not necessarily red. It's actually maroon on this die cast. But uh, here is the front of the die cast from the Monte Carlo Nose with Bud, uh, Bud born on date 17th of February 2005. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and basically... Uh, Open up the hood for you guys. I'm gonna try to at least with actually just multitasking. Um, there we go. So here's the engine die cat. Here's the engine detail in there. The engine detail in 2005 is a, is a lot better than it is today. I know basically what today's engine detail is. It's just a molded block. That's all it is. But with this, get a little more detail. You get wires basically going into the engine and whatnot, and just uh, all that jazz. You know, really cool. Uh, here is the. Uh, Underneath the hood here, where it says "Born on Date, 17th of February, 2005." Here is the left side of the die cast here, which uh, you also get the rubber window net, which is really cool. Uh, here is the uh, roof. And that was a little bit dangerous, but you know what? That's fine. So here is the um, the deck lid there, saying "Budweiser Fresh." Here's the back. Back in is very, very easy to open. Here's the uh, fuel cell. Really cool. Here is the uh, right side of the die cast, same side as the left. And that is it right there for Dale Hart Jr. 2005 124 scale born on date die cast. On to the first 164 scale die cast, which is the 1998 Buckshot Jones Bush Series car. So here is the first 164 scale die cast of the review here. This is the 1998 Buckshot Jones Bayer slash Aqua Seltzer uh, Pontiac. They're in the Bushcraft National Series, and this is a very, very nice die cast. Um, here is the uh, the Pontiac nose, which actually, by the way, the hood opens up in this thing, and not very bad for the engine detail. I actually really like it. Aqua Seltzer. Here's the left side of the die cast here with the... Um, the 50th anniversary logo is one of the uh, part of the contingency sponsors here. Here is the roof. Here is the uh, the deck one in the back. And here is the right side of the die cast, same side as the left. And that's it for Buckshot Jones for 1998. The 1998 uh, Buckshot Jones uh, Bayer slash. Aqua Seltzer Pontiac for the Bush Green National Series. On to the next Bush Green National Series die cast, which is, uh, I have, it is Patty Moist for 1998. So here is the Patty Moist 1998 Rhodes Ford, which uh, this is actually a um, kind of a special uh, paint scheme, basically representing uh, this <laughs> warrior princess of Exena. Or, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but. Uh, <laughs> That's basically what this car is. Very, very nice that what uh, Lionel basically made back then, or else actually that was basically what it was called. Here is a Taurus nose, nose with uh, Rhodes furniture on the, on the hood of that car. Here's the left side of the die cast here. All the contingency sponsors. Look at all the loads of contingency sponsors back then. Holy crap. Why can't we have that now? Because uh, contingency sponsors are very, very expensive in NASCAR today. Here's the roof. Here is the deck one in the back saying Rhodes, and actually the Warrior Princess of Exena. I don't even know how to basically say that, but that's just crazy. <laughs> and here is the uh, right side of the die cast, same side as the left. And that is it basically for Patty Morse for the 1998 Bush Series car of Patty Moise, the Rhodes Furniture Ford. And we're going to go on to the next die cast, which is 1999 Dale Hart Jr. AC Delco Chevrolet. So here's the next car here, which is Dale Hart Jr.'s 1990 AC Delco Chevrolet from the Bush Series. And wait a minute, what the heck? 
Why is the chassis of the car just showing up? What the heck? Where's the body? There it is! I fooled you guys! Ha! Oh, I think you might have saw whatever I did in the presentation. But anyways, here's the Ohr 1999 AC Delco Chevrolet die cast, which actually, it takes the, you know, you guys, AC, whatever, you get this die cast, you actually can take the body off of it. So, um, really, really cool. So here it is right here, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the front end of the die cast here with AC Delco on the hood. And here is the uh, left side of the die cast here. The roof. The uh, duck one in the back. The right side of the die cast, same side as the left. And that is the Dohart 1999 AC Delco Chevrolet for the Bush Series. And now we're going to go on to in the 2000, no, not 2001, excuse me, 1999 Chad Little John Deere Ford. So here's the next card of the die cast review here, which is the 1999 Chad Little from 97 John Deere Ford Taurus. And I know what you guys are probably thinking, why did you get another one? This is the 1999 die cast, not in 1998 or 2000. So uh, a little bit different. Uh, so here is the, uh, the Ford Taurus nose in which, uh, oh God, the paint's not lasting as long as it needs to be. There's a Ford Taurus nose. Paint's kind of cracking up, by the way. Very old car. So here is the, uh, the left side of the die cast here. The roof of the die cast. And here is the uh, deck in the back saying John Deere. And here is the uh, right side of the die cast, same side as the left. Very, very cool die cast. I totally recommend you guys to get uh, chat little die cast and stuff like that. And uh, that is it right there for uh, that is it for chat little die cast. On to the next die cast here, we're going to go to the 2001 Ricky Rudd uh, Havilland Ford. So here's the next car of the die cast review here today. This is the uh, Ricky Rudd 2001 Havilland Texaco Ford Taurus from Robert H. Racing, in which. Um, this car actually came with Need for Speed Unleashed, which this is actually a partial game. Uh, it actually has like a little, um, it's only a little sample game uh, of, of, the, of the game. It's just a sampler version on there. So um, I'm not gonna keep the CD because number one, I ripped the box off of the car right there. This is the box. So here's the car itself. I'm gonna go over to the, uh, the front end of the, the, uh, the front end of the car here, the Taurus nose, with, the Texaco logo on the hood, very, very big and bright red. Here's the left side of the die cast here. A very basic paint scheme for Ricky Rudd. Then here is the roof. By the way, very cool about this car, it actually has a red interior inside it, very, very cool. So here's the deck lid in the back of the car. Here is the right side of the die cast, same side as the left. And that is it for Ricky Rudd's 2001 Havilland Texaco Ford Taurus from Robert H. Racing. We're on to the next die cast, which is the uh, 2002 Hutt Strickland Hills Bros Dodge from Bill Davis Racing. So here's the 2002 Hutt Strickland Hills Bros Coffee Dodge from Bill Davis Racing. Very nice die cast. It's actually my first. Uh, Hills Bros coffee die cast I have and here is the Dodge nose with Hills Bros coffee on the front Well on the, uh, on the hood the Dodge intrepid Nose and here is the uh, left side of the die cast here the roof Here is the deck to the back Here's the right side of the die cast same side as the left and that is it for, Hill, uh, for the uh, Hutch Strickland 2002 Hillsboro's Coffee Dodge uh, from Bill Davis Racing there. And on the next die cast, which is the final die cast of the review, which is the Jeff Purvis 2002 Jeff Purvis Chevrolet from the NASCAR Busch Grand National Series. So here's the 2002 Jeff Purvis, Jeff Purvis Chevrolet from the NASCAR Busch Grand National Series here. And the racing team we raced all was Bruco Motorsports Incorporated. And there's Jeff Purvis facing on the card there on the back. In the background there. So here is the uh, the Monte Carlo nose with Jeff Purvis's name on the hood. 
which the original sponsor that this car actually has, well, or Ill Wells is, is Timberwolf, which, um, <laughs> I guess it's actually a drug company and stuff like that, and they didn't want their own, and didn't want their car, so this is just kind of a technically a kid-friendly car, which is really nice, uh, you know, for people that actually like this diecast. Uh, so here is the, um, left side of the diecast here, with Purvis's name, Jeff Purvis's name on, um, on the car. Here's a roof. Deck load in the back. Same purpose as name, Jeff Purpose's name on the back as well. Then here is the uh, right side of the die cast here, same side as the left. And that is it for the die cast review, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it might have been very, very long. I know it might be a very, very long video as you guys watch it, but thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video as you guys watch. Um, Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, because i got more natural diecast videos coming up this year and such. And uh, just want to remind you guys to keep on fighting a good fight out, uh, out there in this world. I know in this tough times as we have. Uh, but God has a plan for all of us. And I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless and signing out. <laughs>